Hi. Here's Marty. Yeah. Hi. I didn't know. Come on Hi. in. Hi. <laughs> you haven't heard? Jennifer is, this is Jennifer's last day at 13. I'm in right? denial. Mm. Yes. I'm in denial. Really? Right. Looks like yeah, you're sitting you're, next you're to me. You're in the studio, really, actually. <laughs> <laughs> There's Alexis. Get Everybody's in the park. Yeah. All right, so we, gotta, we don't want to do this stuff, but we got to do this stuff. And since we have to do it, let's do it right. All right? We are so happy for our friend Jennifer Johnson because your next move, soon to be announced, is just right. You have found another way to help others, and it just makes sense. But first, let's celebrate the thousands of mornings you were here with us. You sound old. Helping, <laughs> helping our family of viewers start their day. <laughs> Jennifer has been hanging around with us for nearly a decade, covering breaking news. All of this gray rock that you see here, this wasn't here about this time yesterday. And telling us about things made in our hometown. This is the final result for this particular job, luggage tags for the Cosmopolitan. I learned a lot from her, especially when it comes to how you get involved in a community that you didn't grow up in. Jen really set the standard for making this community a better place. You've made 13 Wham a better place, and our whole community is better because of you. I know great things away. She covered the Pope's visit to Philadelphia and reported with compassion on the tragic attack on West Webster firefighters. And earlier in her career, Hurricane Katrina. Well, I certainly remember her covering Katrina, uh, going down to New Orleans uh, after the hurricane and the uh, tough situation that she saw down there. It had an emotional impact on her when she came back. Jen loves learning new things, like sailing. And hitting other boats, also bad. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> and sign language, taught to her by a student at Rochester School for the Deaf. Jen was courageous when a crayfish visited the studio. Uh, was helping. <laughs> 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 helping Marty. And she even held her ground, sort of, that Halloween when a tarantula shared the anchor desk. <laughs> we have more as this guest. I really didn't know. I did not know. know. Rochester at 7.50, the classic fairy tale where Punzel is hitting the local stage. We're talking to the cast. <laughs> there was another Halloween when a little girl named Charlotte went trick-or-treating as her favorite TV news reporter. I think a lot of people would list Jennifer as a favorite. I actually hated Jennifer Johnson when I first met her because I thought, how can you be that beautiful and nice? Impossible. Turns out she's that and so much more. She is the first person there when you're down and the person to celebrate even your smallest victories. I am thankful to call her my friend, and I'm also thankful for filters when I have to take a photo with her. Jennifer's smile cut through the early morning fog in our brains. Her cheerful disposition, working as a counterbalance to some of the news of the day. That disposition is also what makes her a great friend to have. Her natural state of being is to want to lift people up. That's what it's like to work with her. It's, uh, you constantly have a cheerleader, you know, in your corner. And that can go both ways. Jennifer found not a few, but a few thousand cheerleaders in her corner as she dealt with the medical challenges faced by her baby daughter, Grace. When Grace passed, Jennifer's family, her work family, and this community responded and then watched in awe in the months and years that followed the resilience, courage, and vulnerability shown by this very public person dealing with the most unimaginable private pain. Two, one, yeah. Out of heartache came a strength and resolve to support the hospital that supported her family and to build a garden of butterflies that celebrates Grace's spirit. Jennifer's contributions here at 13 Wham will always be appreciated, her legacy honored. But we all know Jennifer is needed down the road a bit at Golisano Children's Hospital. It is where her heart is, where the next miracle kids are waiting, and where she belongs. Ugh. Nicely mm. told. A guy I dated once uh, said I was emotionally unavailable. <laughs> <laughs> channel that right now <laughs> to try to keep it together um 
you know, we have uh, deadlines all the time and, and stuff always that we need to do. And I know you guys behind the scenes have been running around and trying to put that together. So <laughs> thank you, all of you, the fact that you guys did that. Just to make Everybody's it feel crying. good. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> crying. It's, it's, really, it's really awesome. You know. There's more. There's more? There's more. Um, we raised some money. And um, this is just proof that we did it. And I made a deposit, and um, we donated money in the honor of Amazing Grace Esposito oh. <laughs> um, to the Children's Hospital because we know that's so important to you. It is. And um, just wanted to share that with you. And thank you, thank you, guys. No, oh, these people, you know. <clears throat> You know, when you go through tough times, <laughs> you know, you want to come to a place where you can feel supported, but also be yourself and laugh from time to time. And that's a tricky thing to walk, to, mm -hmm. you know, laugh and, and cry kind of all at the same time. And you guys have done that so beautifully oh. with me. And I'm so appreciative. Um, and as you said, yes. <laughs> this is where there I'm going. Is. Galasano Children's uh, Hospital. Um, I spilled the beans. Tell everybody what you're going to be yes. doing. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Creative position, as I said, sort of. Um, I've loved everything there, but there's things that I wanted to do. And about a year ago, I wrote down the things that I wanted to continue to do. And I said, you know, can we make this into a job? And with the help of uh, Dr. Patrick Brophy, who leads the Children's Hospital, who is an incredible he man, sure and I'm is. so excited to work side by side with him and the team he has put together and the vision that he um, will be launching very soon. Um, it's the place I just felt that I wanted to be. Grace taught me so much, um, and she continues to teach me mm -hmm. a lot. And I just kind of thought, you know what? There's things that she's taught me that I, I want to go see happen on behalf of the other families who have reached out to me and said, what are we going to do without you? I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Thank goodness. My, from my whamily, as we call it, to my hospital family, yeah. I call it. I'm, I'm a lucky girl to, to make this dream really come true. Yeah. And, and, and absolutely, um, we are all shedding a tear here because you're leaving us, but there's not a single person who cannot be happy for you and cannot feel it's absolutely the right thing to Thank do. Thank you. Yeah. Director of Family and Community Outreach is the, the new spiffy title. Yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations. Oh. Yeah, Thank congrats. you, guys. So Thank one you. perfect fit. Dr. Brophy called, and actually, one thing he had not talked to you about oh, is, <laughs> yes, your workday starts at 4 a.m. He wants you at the hospital. You can just get it. No! You know that family of mine? I love them, and I really like seeing them. I got a great husband. Husband, you know, I kind of would like yeah. to see him. And this yeah. His yeah. name is Vinny, by the way, uh, in yes. case you forgot. Uh, <laughs> we're going to continue. We're going to hear a message from someone I don't get to see a lot. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, everybody. Thank, thank you, guys. Yeah, thank and you. Thanks, thanks, thank you, Jennifer. And, and thanks to our viewers. And, and uh, we're, more celebration to come as we continue in the next two hours uh, on Fox Rochester. But uh, we wanted to make sure that we all say goodbye on Channel 13 as well. So we'll be right back. Group hug. Group hug. <laughs> <laughs> Group hug.